Hi friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this series I'm going to I'm going to explain you how you can design a realistic designer bedsheet in 3ds Max and Marvelous Designer. So this is the next second part of uh, the tutorial and uh, here I'm going to deal with uh, the OBJ file which we have created in my previous tutorial and we're going to bring it to Marvelous Designer and we're going to add the bedsheet and uh, add whatever designers to it and we're going to simulate it. So this is the Marvelous Designer software and the home page where we get is uh, the L lady with the uh, particular clothing. So Marvelous Designer is a software where uh, you know people actually it was created for uh, uh, what you can say the garment designers and uh, mostly now it is <coughs> the uh, people the interior designers and uh, other 3ds max designers go for marvelous designer because uh, they've got a good simulation for clothing and uh, a pretty good uh, realistic effects so let's just start off and uh, what you're gonna do is uh, avatar and clear avatar alright and select this and just you can uh, delete it or else you can go for a new and uh, click on no and you get the uh, the plain page All right so if you're not doing this uh, clear avatar that uh, uh, lady is going to be there even though the remaining disappears so alright so let's just uh, get into the work so go to the file import obj and once you're done with that you get the bed obj 3ds max 2 which is our file which is our collision object just double click on it and uh, you can go to centimeters or you can go to the inch click OK and you get the bed which you have designed uh, in 3ds Max so don't worry about the color uh, you get different colors the different time you work on the marvelous designer so once you're done with this much uh, the, the designing is uh, very easy and you can just pay attention right now select the rectangle what you can see over here and just draw a rectangle which is gonna represent your bed sheet alright and uh, click over here and go for sync so once you click on the sync uh, whatever you draw on the right side is gonna appear on the right, left side so people who have been working with 3ds max uh, they're gonna feel a little bit uh, odd when you're working with this and uh, moreover the uh, coordinate system the uh, the rotation and the moment uh, is pretty difficult in the screen coordinate gizmo so you can go for world coordinate gizmo because it's pretty easy and once you're done with that just rotate it alright just rotate it and keep it somewhere close pull it down and uh, go over here and increase the length all right and uh, I hope this will be sufficient or if you want more just uh, keep increasing the length so that it falls down so this will be sufficient so once you're done with the first uh, particular pattern right here what you can do is press ctrl C and ctrl V and just press the shift key and place it just beside over here so this is going to be the second uh, object now rotate it do the same drill okay once you're done with rotating just pull it down and place it somewhere close so that that does a thing alright now what you can do right now is uh, the segment sewing which is uh, an important part of our tutorial on this so just go for segment sewing and what you can do now is uh, I guess there is too much light over here so uh, it's been lit so much so what you can do is go to the environment show light and uh, 
select this particular light here and just pull it up alright now just uh, go for environment and off the light alright now the, seg uh, the second uh, segment okay the third one and the fourth one so make sure when you're uh, clicking it over here you click it uh, on the right side not on the left side so once you're done with uh, the sewing of the four sides what you can do next is uh, you can select you can go for the uh, you can go for uh, a, a trial simulation so before that let me just decrease the particle distance to some 40 and just uh, click on the play option so I hope uh, you remember that I explained you something regarding the uh, the falling so when I was creating the uh, 3ds max I had kept it a little bit above so this makes sense right now it falls a little bit down uh, um, you know it implies that kind of uh, uh, legs or something is there for the bed so now uh, what you can do is uh, you need to uh, do some more things in this particular bed sheet so that uh, it's gonna be a designer bed sheet so that we're gonna see in our next tutorial so uh, this is it for this particular part so keep watching and let me know if you have any doubts any clarifications please feel free to contact me you can comment on my video or you can uh, give me a private text or a private message in the about option or else you can uh, write to me at katia.pro.user at gmail.com and I'll be getting back to you as soon as possible thank you so much for watching and keep watching and stay tuned